about a year and a half ago, I was speaking with my friends at WETA in Washington, D.C., and I was just felt impressed. I said, what do you think of relaunching the Joseph Smith story, of repackaging it? So we keep Gregory Peck's voice and everything else we replace. And they were most pleased to have Gregory Peck again, because this was the last show Gregory Peck ever did. Their idea was to remaster the film from a 3x4 format, uh, regular 16 millimeter. But for whatever reason, the film got chucked. <laughs> we were cleaning house, and I think somebody ambitiously took a big box of film to the dumpster. It was just a mistake. But I think it was a divine mistake because it forced us to rethink. We redid the show. We hired talent, we did it docudrama style, like I've done the last three shows that I've done. And I think we, we got it right. Well, the old version is your standard documentary style film in which we, uh, we have talking heads, we have the scholars opining on different aspects of history. We see those, they help tell the story. We have a wonderful narrator in Gregory Peck. And then we illustrate it with um, limited reenactments, artwork, and photography. But now that it's a docudrama, instead of just plain documentary, uh, it's, I, I like to call it a movie with talking heads. <laughs> The takeaway is that they will be impressed by the quality of the show, by the uh, attention we paid to historical detail, and that they'll come to know, as a, one hymn says, Brother Joseph again. One of the executive producers at WETA sent me a note. He says, I just finished watching it. One word, powerful. I want people to come to know Joseph Smith a little bit better, whether they knew him or even heard of him. In fact, when I talked to Gregory Peck's daughter a couple, three weeks ago, she said, who's Joseph Smith? Uh, probably two thirds of the show was shot here in Utah. We went to the LDS Motion Picture Studio and that became Nauvoo, it became Kirtland, it became uh, Missouri. The Carthage jail scene was all filmed there. You know, he falls out the window and then looked down at him, but yet we just had this ugly uh, dark wood siding. So that, thanks to Media Grabbers, a good uh, video effects firm, we took elements of the, of the real Carthage jail and painted it, so to speak, on top. <laughs> Back in Genesee Country Village near Rochester, New York, we filmed Joseph and Emma's departure. We had a home that kind of looked like the mansion house. And Emma and, and Joseph are terrific actors, but it was very powerful. And then we get them in the jail. And we were very, very particular about the order of how things came down. And that was the other thing we uh, paid pretty close attention to, who got shot when. We don't have time to tell all the details, but we tried to do it in order of how it really happened. We've had historians and scholars look at that and say, yeah, I think you did it right. I wasn't there, but now that's how it happened. <laughs> You know, we, uh, we got a prop to dig graves, an old looking shovel. So Emma's standing there distraught because they're burying their second and third child of three that they buried. And Joseph takes the shovel and, and uh, sticks it in the dirt and it breaks. <laughs> Handle breaks off. I'm going, my eyes roll. But Joseph just went with it. It kind of uh, punctuated the lousy situation they were in. So that was funny in one way, but it ended up making it in the show because it was, I think, powerful.